Today on Blissed Barbecue, I'm going to be cooking up a beautiful 2.56 pound Kansas City strip steak on my Santa Maria Ironworks Grill from Centera Pro Series. Let's get going. So here's that beautiful steak that I'm going to be cooking up today. Again, two and a half pounds of Kansas City strip steak. And basically what this is, New York strip loin, but it's got a portion of that T-bone still, still attached. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be good stuff. I'm gonna season this very simply with some kosher salt. And I will be hitting it with some fresh ground pepper after it's done cooking. And this is not a sponsored video, but I'm going to tell you it is uh, dry aged and it came from Porter Road. And recently I have been buying a lot of the meat I use on my videos and personally <laughs> online. I've just, it's um, been very frustrating for me out here with not being able to find some of the cuts that I want right now with everything that's going on and also the prices. And I'm actually finding that I'm getting like ridiculous quality, but I guess saving a little money too. A lot of these places have free shipping, which is pretty cool. If you're interested in checking out Porter Road, I'll put a link down below for you to check out. Set this aside. While the steak's kind of Soaking in that salty goodness, we're gonna make a board sauce, a really easy board sauce. So we're gonna kick this off with a couple cloves of fresh garlic. Give these a smash. And we'll just kind of mince these up finely. Now I will have this recipe posted down below in the description box, or the additional information box, I guess they call it now. But if you wanna pause the video right here, this is the entire recipe if you just want to copy it off of your computer or your phone, whatever you're watching this video on. Now on top of the garlic, I'm going to put a little kosher salt. I'm going to grind this into the board with my knife. Just kind of smash it in and smear it. Kind of use that salt as like sandpaper, like an abrasive. All right. Now we're going to take some fresh Italian flat leaf parsley. We're just going to mince this on top of the garlic. We're doing everything on top of all the ingredients. We want to get this really incorporated here. We're going to continue chopping this. I want it to be very fine. I have a whole shallot here. Same thing. We're going to just mince this up on top of the on top of this parsley. Again, this is a real crude chop, but we're just, we just want it very fine. And again, all the, all these herbs, these ingredients, we're blending together. This will be very similar to a chimichurri when we're done. All right, that's looking really good. So the inspiration for this next ingredient is a very famous, very popular in Argentina, Argentine dish. And I just really love this. It's going to make this pop. I have some green olives here. Not with the pimentos in the middle, just green olives. Now this will obviously add to the saltiness, but it's more of a briny saltiness and it's uh, just really good. Get these guys incorporated here. It's looking really good. I have here some smoked paprika, some cumin, and some dried red chili flakes into the mix. This obviously we're just going to kind of stir in some fresh lime juice. Some olive oil. Some red wine vinegar. Now this last night was 10 ounces of, of Pinot Noir red wine and I reduced it down to this. You can use any red wine or if you don't want any wine in here, you don't have to use any wine at all. It'll still be really good without the wine. Put that in there. Get this all mixed up really good. 
and I'm going to put some pads of butter down here. And this is unsalted butter. There's already a lot of salt in here. It doesn't need any more salt. This is just going to add that beautiful fatty flavor. Okay, now I'm just going to cover this with a little foil just to keep any bugs off. There, there's no bugs flying around today, which is cool. Um, got a beautiful fire going in the Santa Maria, so let's cook the steak. So today I'm running red oak on this cook, and my strategy is, this is a very, very thick steak, is to just sort of ease it to the temperature that I want. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be some crazy hot sear right off the bat. I'm gonna be doing a lot of flipping, and my target temperature for when I pull it off is going to be 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll let it rest, and as it's resting, it's going to be melting that butter and dripping its juices into this board sauce. It's gonna be really good. All right, we are cooking. Rendering fat smells so good right now. It's starting to look really, really good. By the time we're done, the surface of the meat on both sides is going to be just a really nice, kind of a solid brown color. Steak is looking gorgeous. Look at that color. <laughs> So I'm really happy with the color of the steak. What I'm going to do now is raise the grate, focus more on my target temperature. So at this point in the cook, I'm looking for more gentle heat. Extremely happy with the way the steak looks on the outside, and I wanna be just as happy with the way the steak looks on the inside. All right, we just hit that 125 mark. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. And now I'm going to put it on this board sauce right on top of the butter. <laughs> it's going to drape a little foil over the top. Let it do its thing. While that steak rests, I have some garlic bread here we're going to toast up. So I'm going to let the steak rest about 10 minutes, maybe a little longer actually. Total cook time, by the way, was a little over 40 minutes. It was about 42, 43 minutes. Um, Excited, smells really good, wow. Here we are all rested, as you can see, the butter has melted into this and the juices from that steak are getting into it. Looking good. Butter on the edge here, it's melted, but it's very, very soft. I'm just going to kind of get it into the program here with my knife. Now let's carve into this thing. Gosh, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to follow the bone. There we go. Looks good, looks good. All right, let's cut this. Actually, you know what, before I cut this up, let's, let's make some magic happen here with this board sauce. Smells so good. So let's hit it with some black pepper, a little bit of black pepper. I love this sauce kind of going over the top. And a little lime. All right, now there's only one way to see how we actually did, but as far as the cook temp, beautiful medium rare. I mean, it's a perfect cook. Tender, wow. <laughs> wow. Board sauce is just so bright and herbish, herbaceous. 
Mm. Then because we all need a few carbs in our lives. It's a good cook. I love cooking on that Santa Maria. I love it. I love the Santa Maria and the Argentine grill. Those are two my favorite grills. I mean, just so fun to cook on. This is really good. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell. Thumb up the video if you like it. And if you really want to help my channel, share this video. I'll see you on the next recipe. Cheers.